Oh my goodness, what a morning. We've had a crazy one. The door is open. Why is the door open? I did not open this. Oh, I think my fence might be being fixed. So Solomon's tail wrap had come undone, so I had to pull that out today and redo it. And look at this. This is just crazy. My gosh. That's a whole lot of tail you got there, dude. Look at his crazy giraffe markings. Isn't this crazy? Does anybody know what this is called? He only really has it on this side. The other side has a little bit, but like not nearly as much. It's hard to tell because of the lighting. There you go. So you can kind of see he's got a little bit on this side, but like on this side, it's like ba bam, I'm a giraffe. It's pretty cool looking though.
guys, I'm going to update you on what I was telling you about yesterday that I couldn't actually tell you about, which is basically um, they did a necropsy on Calamity after she passed away, and she came back positive for strangles which I don't know if you guys remember that we talked about that we had a virus go through our barn several months ago, like months and months ago, that it went through all the horses, Calamity had it, everybody got better, and then later Calamity then had issues again. And anyway, so the point was that meant we had to test everybody for strangles because strangles is a big deal. If, you get stra if your farm gets strangles, it's a big deal. So um, they had to report it to state. It was this whole big thing. It was horrible. It was it was horrible. It, there was so much guilt and so many feelings and so much like fear and everything. Um, anyway, so the vet came out. We had to test every horse for strangles, which cost me a fortune. And everything came back negative. We got the results today. So, oh, phew. so the way that strangles can work sometimes is that your horse can get it but not really present symptoms, and it can just sort of lie dormant in their systems. So. Probably what happened with Calamity is she was exposed to strangles a while back, like before we had her here at the farm, and it just sort of sat in her system and flared up later, and so it was, it's horrible. It's, it's still horrible, and the whole thing with Calamity is still, like, really fresh on my heart, but, um, but basically that is to say that it, she didn't get it on our farm, which is reassuring that we didn't you know, miss it, because we had the vet out so many times, and we had that virus go through, and so I just, I was like, how could we have missed strangles, like, strangles presents in a very obvious way, so, you know, I'm just like, I've, I've had such a mess, I don't know if I'm making any sense right now, I've had such a mess over, like, how did we not catch it if it strangles, um, but it didn't present normally, and so it, it, it was this whole weird thing, just a second, I have to go yell at the dog, anyway, so that's kind of what happened yesterday, or a couple days ago, when, we didn't film yesterday because I was a mess. I, I, I was a mess all day yesterday f with so much guilt and so much fear, worrying that these horses were going to have strangles and we were going to have to deal with this, like, epidemic of strangles. And, oh, Google strangles if you want to know more about it. Um, anyway, point is, we don't have strangles. So that's good. But we are going to vaccinate everybody for strangles. The vet's coming out tomorrow to vaccinate everybody because Calamity was here and Calamity did have strangles. We have to vaccinate everybody, make sure nobody else gets it. Oh my gosh, it's been crazy. Um, the other major thing that happened today, I think I already told you about Matthew's brother had surgery, brain surgery. Um, he did get out of surgery. I don't think his family's gotten to see him yet, but they were able to remove 99% of the tumor, but there's just a little bit that they couldn't get to that was wrapped around a specific nerve that they didn't want to mess with. We're, I'm waiting to hear from family about like how he's really doing, you know, not just the like, medical side of stuff. So I will keep you guys informed on that because that's kind of scary. That's very scary. Um, anyway, this not this weekend, but next weekend, Millie is going to be riding Gracie at the Southern Baroque Association Fall, or it's spring, it's spring, guys, spring show, which is going to be a lot of fun. She came out today and had a lesson, and it went really well. She rode Marquis, I guess. You, you saw the clip. She rode Marquis, who was a... I don't think I even ever really properly introduced you guys to Marquis. So Marquis, the chestnut horse that Millie was riding... That is Catherine's new horse. She got her from a Girl Scout camp that she used to work at. Um, they called her the other day and they were like, do you want this horse? And Catherine was like, yeah, I want this horse. So we went and picked up the horse. But she's awesome because she's been working with these kids forever. So she's like super solid, super easy to ride. Like she's just awesome. And so she was perfect for Millie today. It was really good. They did have one moment where... I guess Millie accidentally asked her to canter, didn't realize she was doing it, and so the horse was obedient, so the horse cantered, and Millie got scared. But she did really well, she handled it really, really well, she didn't scream, she didn't do anything, she was just going, whoa, whoa, and the horse still doesn't speak English, so the horse said, whoa, but I caught it, and it, everything was fine. Like, she wasn't running away with her or anything, she just sort of was, like, casually cantering along, <laughs> poor thing. But we got her back on, like, she didn't fall off, we got her back going, and she was fine. Um, but anyway, so that's sort of your update on the day. I'm sorry I didn't really talk throughout the day. I've just been really busy. I rode, like, everybody, as you saw, and I've just been kind of crazy. Uh, but things are all up from here because now I don't have all this, like, weight of scary stuff sitting on me. It did kind of eat into all my budget, though. I'm kind of broke right now. I was already broke. Now I'm more broke. That's never fun. I'm sure you guys can relate. <laughs> Andre says he can relate. I think Matthew's home. He's bringing me subs. I'm trying to diet right now. I don't want to talk about it. But anyway, I'm going to splurge tonight and have a sub.
Oh, 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 oh,